my lab's back yet? Are there any new orders? What do you see? This is the chair where an RN used to spend time and energy documenting, charting, and inputting data instead of spending time where she's needed most with the patient. But not anymore. This is the future, where invisible technology leads to more intimate care. Powerful software facilitates proactive nursing, and greater efficiencies allow doctors, nurses, and aides to do the jobs they were trained to do, and do them well. Ah, Nurse Judy. Hi, Mr. Prentice. Good to see you again. I see that you're using the smart room. It's great. I've been checking all my tests for the day. Never had an MRI before. A little worried. Okay, but it's nothing to be worried about. I can show you a video and we can learn what an MRI is. Okay? Let me see the remote here. We'll go to the main screen. Select about your test. And then scroll down to your test. And hit play and then we can watch the video. Well, that makes me feel better. Let me show you something. Okay. My uh, the granddaughter Nikki sent me this email. Yeah, there she. That's her there. She's beautiful. She must have taken after your wife's side of the family. I got into nursing because I like to help people, and not that I want to spend all my time documenting and away from my patient. So with the smart room, because I don't have to worry about finding a computer or finding a computer on wheels or a workstation, all I have to do is walk into the room and everything is given to me or pushed to me um, for me to document and do right there. And the documentation is quick and it's easy and it's simple and it's just at the ease of just touching a couple buttons. And I know that that information that is required from a regulation standpoint is now documented in the patient's room with the patient and then I have time to actually talk and learn about the patient and their family. On a med surge unit, there's typically a lot of chaos, um, a lot of things happening and ever changing. So just because you have a typical day where you think you're going to know what's going to happen, it changes. So with a smart room, we're actually able to get rid of that mind clutter that the nurse is having and able to focus on what needs to be done for the patient. Because of the technology that we use in the smart room, we don't have to sign on, you don't have to find a computer because as you walk in the room, the information is given to you um, right at your fingertips. In the course of my work, there are times when I do nursing assistant tasks because it's easier for me to just get them done and know that they'll be done instead of trying to figure out what they've done versus what they've not done. So in the smart room, it's very clear that when I walk in that I can see what tasks are mine and I have the ease of mind knowing that the tasks for the nursing assistant or the patient care tech is being completed by them. Okay, Mr. Prenti, everything looks good. Remember your procedures in the morning. And nothing to eat after 6 p.m. Hey, I got it. I'm in the smart room. The smart room was created by healthcare professionals uh, working to solve the kinds of problems that they deal with every day on the front line. It, it's an environment where the information is constantly changing, the patient's clinical condition is changing, new orders are being written, orders are being discontinued, and the activities around what's happening on a nursing unit uh, can best be described as chaotic. So the concept behind the smart room is to deliver the right information to the right caregiver at the right time at the patient's bedside where getting the information correct matters most. Our business partners are UPMC and IBM. UPMC is designing and building solutions to healthcare problems. We're very close to those problems. We're working at this from the clinician's perspective and the caregiver's perspective. 
IBM brings this global technology perspective, which adds tremendous strength to the overall offering. We took great care in designing a system where the user interface was very simple. Uh, a person can walk up and virtually figure it out uh, simply by standing in front of the screen and following the instructions. And so within 15 minutes, a nurse or a nursing assistant would be well versed in all of the features and benefits of Smart Room. The Smart Room takes the routine tasks and it simplifies the workflow. It, it, it unburdens the nurse and the nursing team um, to the standpoint where they can focus on the critical thinking, they can focus on the patient's care and underlying clinical conditions and be more tuned into the kinds of things that could escalate or turn into a bigger problem for a patient. From a technology standpoint, the, the smart room is a relatively simple structure. Um, it works using an RTLS system, which is, stands for Real-Time Location System. The basic concept is that our healthcare workers have tags, and the tags are recognized based on sensors that are located throughout the hallways, as well as in the patient rooms. And so what's happening is that as the healthcare worker enters a room, the detector in the room notices the tag and therefore in the background the system says, oh that's Tony, she's a nurse, and then it decides what information do I need to present to Tony on the smart room screen. The information that is pulled from the electronic health record is tailored to the role of the caregiver wearing the tag. And in the room there are two screens. One is for the patient and their family. The other screen is a touch screen that's for the caregiver. Both screens have a different purpose. The patient screen is where the patient can access emails that are sent from home. We've developed a photo album, which is a really nice feature that patients love because they can see pictures of, of friends, families, grandkids, pets, etc. Um, games, puzzles, you know, the kinds of things you would want to do to entertain a patient while they're in a hospital, as well as present and provide clinical information such as patient education about tests that they may be having, patient education about their clinical condition, their disease state, and things that are really important to actually take advantage of and capture while that patient is lying in that bed. One of the real values of the smart room uh, that lives outside of the specific room, the patient room, is the uh, improving the handoff of information between caregivers. So using the smart board as well as some of the other tools that are developed for smart room allow that exchange of information to happen much easier for the patient, for the care team. When we built the smart room application, hospitals and, and healthcare in this economy are challenged with their financial budget. And we knew that we had to develop a solution that was not only fun to use and easy to use, but we had to actually create an, a return on investment that was important to us. And so um, we focused specifically on areas where we believe hospitals will get an ROI. Part of that ROI is going to come from increased patient satisfaction. This is one of the measures that's part of the new pay for performance uh, regulations and so those scores will matter and so to the extent that we can engage the patient in their health care we can drive those scores up. The smart room can actually help the nursing unit deal with the appropriate staffing or workflow balancing so that if a nurse is uh, really overwhelmed by the amount of work that her patients require, there's an easy way to actually see that in the system and balance the work so that we can objectively help each other you know, deliver safe care to our patients. This powerful combination is creating a unique transformational product that is changing the way healthcare is delivered in hospitals today. Is there anything else on the other patients? Uh, Mrs. Hicks, be careful with her. She has the same name alert with another patient. Organizational transformation, error reduction, cost-effective care, information at your fingertips, less time documenting, more time with the patient. This is why we call it Smart Room.